have so little faith in me, Josephine. You have such little faith that you think I'd get skewered by some random Antivan noble? Have no fear. We will get this resolved. I didn't even make it to the War Council yet. I see that added a new operation. Well, well, we'll let it sit for a little bit because we have important things to worry about here. And another Inquisition point. Okay, if you're gonna give me that, then I probably want the one for inventory capacity. Unless if there's something else I want, not really. You seem to enjoy yourself at the Winter Palace, Liliana. Or was that part of the game? Perhaps it was both. She's good at it. People enjoy things they're good at. The name of our enemy. Our agent, a mage named Sidney, returned from Minrathu successful in her task. She posed as a magister's assistant. Oh, this is about getting the stuff from the library. Bluffing her way into the magisterium's library to ostensibly perform research and managed to acquire not only the Liberalum, but also a number of other mystical tomes, all without leaving any evidence that traces back to the Inquisition. It may take some time for Dorian to go through the Liberalum, but he is optimistic that something within will prove of use. Waveblade. Good. I have requests for information on your lineage from a few interested parties at the Winter Palace. And Traste preserve me. Feel free to use those requests as kindling. <laughs> no, I shall take them. I want to know who pines for our commander. We can use this to our advantage. I am not bait. Hush, just look pretty. He normally does that anyway. But hey, Cullen, Cullen... If he's really handsome, but he doesn't have a family background, would people in Orle still care about him? Did we just get a million more since the last time I was here? There's like a... F there's a 10 in this area, my god. The consequences of Blackwall's lie. We've sent emissaries with formal apologies. We return all that could be returned. We paid in kind for what could not. Liliana will store the Grey Warden treaties in the Skyhold archives in remembrance of the mistakes made and lessons learned. Good. Lord de Rossier blockaded a number of trade routes, but his intent was only to posture. We faced token resistance to retake them. Expensive, but fortunately not in lives. Lady Richelieu is not impressed, <laughs> as it was not the optimal outcome for her status calculations. Her letter. An adequate outcome, Inquisitor. A powerful name has been marginalized instead of put to use. The minor alliances formed in the wake are a modest achievement, but it'll have to do. I have arranged a pairing of the lesser names left standing, that of Celeste Tybalt and Jessen Leandre. They are thrilled because they are young, but as matchmaking goes, it is hardly inspiring. Functionally yours. Lady Eustace Richelieu. Oh my god. That's scathing. A letter from the Tybalts? My unending gratitude, Lady Inquisitor. I feared for the actions of my daughter if this matter had turned out differently. She is not yet fully understanding of the necessities of status. We are in your debt. <laughs> this is uh, this is just me being self-indulgent, basically. But hey, if I want to marry Josephine, I've got a root for the young couple too. Are we gonna marry Josephine? Wait, that's... I didn't think that far yet, actually. Assign Michelle de Chavon. Celine's disgraced champion. He's an honorable man, but a casualty of Orlais' brutal politics and prejudices. Find him a place in the organization. Probably not as a Liliana scout. He knows about the Illuvions controlled by the Elves of Orlais. Oh, I'll have him working with Solus and our scholars to discover all we can of the mirrors. Josephine would want to give him as an advisor to nobles. He was once a renowned chevalier. He even bested Grand Duke Gaspard. But Alluvian, he has Alluvian knowledge? Freaking put him there then. Inquisitor. Everything else we have replacement for, but not that. Re okay, resources is whatever. This is repeating, I guess. There's some other- a gather cloth. Okay, we can ignore all these, right? Are these repeating? Actually, I'm not sure. I just assumed they were, because I know gather coin is repeating. I think so? It's only 12 minutes each. There is something that's for maybe Liliana only, or Josephine only, something over here, no? The Serpent of Navarra. 
Inquisition agents have uncovered a potential problem in the nation of Navarra. A divinder mage by the name of Virelius has recently been noted in the company of King Marcus, and rumors comment on how strange it is for a new advisor to be so closely heated. There is evidence to indicate Virelius is a member of the Venatori. Having the Navarran king under their sway would give the cult a great deal of power and hinder the Inquisition's ability to operate in the north. Oh no. Liliana says send an agent and kill him. And his supporters. Cullen says, wait for him to leave the capital, then capture him. Josephine says, tell the king what his advisor is. But he's an old man, right? Would he listen? But if we capture him, we'd be starting a war with Navarra. That's what I'm afraid of. Uh, well, okay, we can tell him, but if he doesn't do anything about it, then it's not At my problem. Service. It's not my problem. Mm, so this one's probably Josephine, too. Azar, a whole bunch of these ones here. Yeah, Judgment, Plain to- Oh, I was gonna use Josephine for this one, too, right? Right, oops. Guess we're waiting another three hours for that. <laughs> House Amladaris. Dorian has completed his research using the Liberalum and believes he has found a connection between Corypheus and an ancient magister named Sethius of House Amladaris. This will be difficult to prove and may be of limited use, but it's worth noting that House Amladaris still exists. Even the accusation that Corypheus and Sethius are the same person would be worthy of a scandal in Deventer. One that the current members of the family might be desperate to avoid. Blackmail them. Send them the information. Sell the information to enemies. Whoa, all of these sound very... Give it to them? Well, that depends on if we want to maximize our gain. Maybe sending it to one of the enemies would be good. Because you can sell it multiple times to multiple people. Whereas all of the other options are just to give it to them. Okay. All right. Six hours though, my god. And that's that again. Wait, is there a new one here? Oh, Tantervale. Oh! Yes. Yes, later. Later. Okay. Should we... I'm pretty sure some of our people are waiting for us. Josephine? The note just reads, They are happier now. Thank you. Mm, let me see. I believe it's from Cole. Was it he who suggested we give the refugees the warmer quarters? I can't remember. Did you need someone to suggest that? Come on, give the refugees the warmer quarters. Yes. Oh. Uh... Yes. Tell me again about this Antivan lord your parents engaged you to. Adorno Cielo Trantum? His family runs several shipping companies in Antiva that do very well. Of the man's temper and disposition and habits, I know nothing. Well, Mother claims he enjoys sailing and dueling, but what Antivan lord doesn't? Oh, he enjoys dueling now, does he? You don't favor this marriage, Josephine, do you? Certainly not. If I hadn't met you, perhaps I'd have been amenable, but honestly, you've no worry. I'm a little bit surprised to hear that because Josephine definitely does the whole playing game thing and part of playing the game is arranged marriages. You would throw away an advantage in the court for love? Does Antiva law force you to marry? Can't you break off the betrothal? In theory, I very easily could. In reality, if I reject Lord Otranto without proper niceties, it will scar my family's name. Perhaps ignite a feud. Disentangling myself from the engagement will take months. Or years. <sighs> this is like the whole thing, the other thing about the par du paraquets. I'll figure it out. While you're worried about your family, what happens to us? I cannot be with you until the question of this engagement is settled. It is simply not my own reputation. It is my family's. I do not have the right to risk it. As... as much as I might wish to. Why did this become so dreadfully complicated? It's okay, Josephine. I get it. I get it. 
Your parents didn't say anything to you beforehand, though, huh? If I dueled this Lord Otranto, I could force him to give up his betrothal with you. But you could be hurt. Dueling is a very precise sport. Men and women spend years perfecting their skills with a rapier. I couldn't bear to think of my family putting you in any further danger. Again. I will use the mark, I'll use the anchor, and I'll suck him in the rift. It's fine, I've got this figured out. Let's speak later. Farewell. That's not against the rules. I'm sure they have rules for dueling, but no one ever said I can't use the mark on my hand. We'll be fine. Uh, Varric? I can spare some time. What do you need? Nothing. I'm good. Admiring your own mural? How can I help? We'll talk later. Goodbye. Oh, speaking of Solus. You know what? Maybe now would be a good time to go to Hinterlands because I was supposed to never go back there and you're making me go back there. Why? Why are you like this, Solus? Oh, we've actually never been there before. Solus has located a powerful rift in the Hinterlands that has not yet been opened. He believes it to be unique and well worth investigating. Surprisingly, I've never been to this part of the Hinterlands before. Uh, we... I mean, I guess it's this cave? Let's check it out. We have a full mage party today because I thought we could do some scholarly examination and investigation of this so-called powerful rift. Would also be nice if we didn't have to do it in the dark. But it is what it is. More mosaic pieces. Uh. Oh, there it is. You were right, Solus. It's right here. Okay, we'll worry about that later. And the braziers. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? Wait, okay. Come here. Why don't you come here? Oh, wow. I forgot you could do that. Let's get a roll in then. We should probably go over there so we can do some... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what we can do today? Full dispel. We can do a million dispels, can't we? Just let me come over here. Bring everyone over here. Everyone, come here! Right, 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 right. Oh, but I think you've already come out. Did I wait too long? I can barely see. Can you go a little bit further out? It won't let me because we're in a cave, I think. This would be the perfect time to do a whole bunch of dispels. I don't know if that's one over there. I'll pretend it is. I can do another one. With Solus. No, 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 I gotta go back down. Oh, no, no, no. It's over here. Did I get it? Oh, we missed one. That's okay. If we had gone all of it. Oh, yeah, there was another one over there as well. This is fine, this is fine, this is actually fine. I saved you a special. Give you the mark of the rift. Ooh, this guy's level 18. He's a strong guy. They're not strong enough. Oh! Two mosaic pieces here. Surprisingly, we got 11. Well, very good. Very good, but... Is that it? The Mage Rebellion has turned this place upside down, hasn't it? It has. Okay, but Solus just told me to come here so we can close a rift. That's it? Alright, I don't know what I was expecting. I thought there might be more. 
I thought he might be happy about it, too. That's all we got. <laughs> We're just gonna light these braziers because we can. Huh. I thought that was gonna be a bigger thing. We already had the bigger thing with Solus, I guess. Because that's supposed to be the one where we had the problem with his spirit friend. Okay. Well, that's it then. That is it. Let's move on to another companion thingy then. That was pretty short. We didn't even get any sort of um, mage discussion going on here, but that's okay. Yes, we haven't gotten to the quarry yet. Oh. Oh, this is for Cullen. Mm. Right, right, right. So we can do that. Or we can go join Liliana at the Chantry in Valence. Or challenge Josephine's fiancé to a duel. Exalted Plains Snowy Wyvern Heart. Let's do the Liliana thing then. I want to walk away from On Priest du Leon for a little bit because we just we just left it, right? That is it. Black Emporium. A letter written by Divine Justinia and posthumously delivered to Liliana directed Liliana to visit Valence, a small village on the Waking Sea. The Divine left something in the Chantry that Liliana must see. Oh my gosh, the Maferath statues again. It's just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. The hero of Ferelden and I came here after the Blight to visit Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. It's peaceful here. You must have good memories of this place. It was a place of comfort. It is good to see it still untouched by Corypheus. Liliana, is that you? Sister Natalie, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No, I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... Mm? Like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lady, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. Oh no no no, please get up. Please get up. I wish more people would fail to recognize me. Oh, uh... I see. <laughs> Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch, that light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives in an open heart. She must be hinting at something in here. Let's look around. Okay. They still sing verses from the Benedictions every Friday. That canticle was Justinia's favorite. Uh, yes, of course. We'd never give up the traditions of our most beloved divine. That is lovely to hear. I stare up at the breach sometimes. It's terrifying, but beautiful in its way. It is beautiful. Have you seen it by sunrise? When the sun rises through it, it splits into what looks like a thousand suns, like a broken mirror. Yes, spectacular, isn't it? You must be careful, Natalie. Justinia's enemies are making their move, vying for position and the sunburst throne. I've completely lost my train of thought listening to you guys. <laughs> I initially brought the most Andrastian of our companions, but it looks like it's just going to be Liliana and I today. Ah, yeah, it sounds like even among divines, Justinia was pretty popular, huh? Even among all divines. Alright. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch, that light has no fear of darkness. What about these, these fires? I don't want to just ping it. Can we find- can we actually find the thing? 
That would be cool if we could. Above all, that strength lives in an open heart. Is that a branch? We pushed something. I was in the cloister in Lothering when the blight began. There was a lot of fear back then. No one knew what was going to happen, whether we would live or die. And then one morning, I found a single bloom on a dead rose bush. And I thought, even in the midst of all this, life finds a way. The Maker hasn't abandoned us. At that time, Liliana was already quite skilled in combat and stuff, and she was just sort of hiding it when she was staying at the Chantry, I guess. So we found the branch one, the barren branch. That light has no fear of darkness. That light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives in an open heart. An open heart. Strength lives in an open heart. Is that Hesarian ending Andraste's suffering? An open heart? Well, that one's quite literal. And morbid. But Justinia always said that compassion was my greatest strength. Doubt is easy. It takes courage to trust. Of course. Because trust is when it's not certain and you choose to believe it's true. That's a risky and vulnerable thing to do. That light has no fear of the darkness. What was that? Looks like we opened something. Where do we open it? On the back of the statue? Here? Oh, wow. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, I was wondering earlier when they were hugging, Liliana gave me a look and I was just wondering when we were opening this. Is it okay that we're doing this in front of Sister Natalie? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on first? Liliana, stop! What are you doing? I'm protecting us. They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Oh. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickleweed burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. I was wondering about that sun thing. I was like, what? Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thidas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? He must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. Oh, you know when Sister Natalie didn't recognize me? So she was like, oh my god, you brought the Inquisitor here? And then she kneeled down. She kneeled down, so I forgot about it. But when she just said it, it sounded like it was contempt. And I was immediately thinking, oh, should I not be here? Because the Chantry people hate the Inquisitor. So I think that was probably the contempt, the actual contempt leaking out then. But then she's like, oh yeah, no, I gotta actually, I have to pretend I like her. I don't know about that. 
If we let her go, she'll just run off to her cleric, won't she? Likely. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. She's not... But she hasn't done anything wrong though, has she? We're just gonna kill a unarmed, revered mother? That seems kind of... She's from a different faction, but it's not even like a civil war in Orlay kind of situation. It's just some random... Let the Grand Cleric do whatever she wants. We'll let her go back as a warning. Release her, Liliana. She is no threat. She's unarmed. The Grand Cleric. She is one woman. We are the Inquisition. The Inquisitor has spoken. Run. Tell your mistress that she has a choice. The Inquisition is coming. She's unarmed. We can't start killing civilians like that. No! This can't be it. There's nothing here. Do we think Sister Natalie did something, or is this like a Kung Fu Panda, there is no secret kind of thing? Sorry if I just spoiled anybody on Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> it's not what you expected. That doesn't mean it's nothing. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach. But it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. Are you reading what's on the lid still? Or is that your understanding of what your relationship has been? Because that's surprisingly very self-aware. She apologized in the fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Hey, we killed Marjolaine really early back in Origins, but I wonder if she would have showed up if we didn't. Liliana. Then you have to let it go. Let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. If it were not for you, I would have killed Natalie and called it a good thing. Thank you for showing me what was right when I couldn't see it for myself. There are things that must be said, but not here. I will see you back at Skyhold. I will also see you back at Skyhold. Yeah. The fact that Liliana would come to this random little village to chase down what Justinia left for her. Maybe Justinia predicted that she hasn't she wouldn't have let it go even by now. If Liliana didn't come, it would mean that she already left her duties behind, so it's okay. But in the case in the event that she hasn't let go yet, then she comes here and Justinia basically tells her to her face, uh, as, to her face as she can, let go. Grand Cleric Victoire has offered the Ambassador support for the Inquisition. Ah, Natalie is as persuasive as ever. Wow. Based on what? We barely threatened her. I'm told that Ambassador Montillier is pleased with the restraint you showed in Valence. Ugh, she's positively beside herself. I will never hear the end of it. Niceness before knives, Liliana. Haven't I always told you? <laughs> will that be all, my lady? For now. Are you going to repeat that back to Josephine? <laughs> nice impression. <laughs> How have you been feeling since Valence? Good. Wonderful. Valence was something of a rebirth for me. If you hadn't been with me at Valence, I would have killed Natalie. 
I'd have told you that I didn't have a choice. But there is always a choice. I am more than this. I am more than what Justinia made me. Do you resent Justinia for what she did? How can I when there is so much between us? When she gave her life for peace? No, I believe her intentions were pure. Most intentions are. Somebody had to do the dirty work, and it just fell to Liliana. What does this mean for my Inquisition? Will you still be my spy master? Of course. I would not give up my post. Not after everything we've built. I just know now that I shouldn't ignore my heart. Mercy is not always a weakness. Yeah, ruthlessness could be a weakness too. You're so scared of thinking about anything else. You've exceeded her. She could never have imagined the power you now hold. And now I will know how to use that power wisely. I have to stay true to who I really am before a spy master left hand or barred. I almost lost myself. It's the case for a lot of our companions, I think, that if it weren't for the circumstances we've been placed in, we would have turned out differently. But for Liliana, I think it's even more obvious than most because she seems like such a gentle, sweet girl that if she wasn't a bard, if she wasn't raised a bard, if she wasn't the left hand, the, the left hand of the divine, if she wasn't an assassin, basically, she would have been a much simpler person, had had a much simpler life. I didn't get the chance to say so earlier, but welcome back to Skyhold. After that terrible journey through the Fade, it must feel good to stand on solid ground again. No. That was 20 years ago. Yeah. I'm thankful to be back. No one should enter the Fade physically. And you've done it twice now. Shall I count you fortunate or unfortunate? Oh, uh, let's hope it doesn't happen again. Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Okay. I'll leave you to your work. Okay. Good. Good. Now she seems like she's... She has more clarity of what kind of person she wants to be and what kind of things she wants to do. Good, good, good. A black walls thing updated before. Did we not read this? I feel like we've read a little bit already. Rainier was born in Markham, a city-state in Free Marches. Little information on his early life, but he was skilled. By the time he turned 18, he joined the Grand Tourney. The Great Marcher Contest of Arms. He won the melee, proving himself. What happened to the coin he won was a mystery. Two years later, he's in Orle, but not any richer. And then he went into the Orlesian army. He was an excellent soldier, rising through the ranks. And his men were fiercely loyal. Yup, yup, yup. His desire to amass a fortune likely explains his involvement in the Massacre of the Lord. Chapuis hired Rainier to assassinate Callier and offered him a great deal of coin for it. But that's, of course, betraying all of his men. It seems none of Rainier's men were aware of the true reasons behind the Lord's killing. They simply followed orders, and he ran away while his men took the blame. Tom Rainier was labeled a traitor and criminal, but remained at large until now. Of course, of course. Was that it? It is. Let's do his- let's do magic. Illuvians! Let me tell you something. There are mirrors, old mirrors, from the ancient times when our people ruled every part of this land. Only they're not really mirrors, they're Illuvians. You find some dusty old scholar, he's gonna tell you our people used Illuvians to talk to each other. Don't believe it, they're portals. You walk into one, and eventually you come out the other side. Or at least, this is what I'm told. You ever wonder why they've never found any elven roads, like our ancestors never walked anywhere? That's why. They use Illuvians, and there are still Illuvians in the old places today. Some of them even work, and Briala knows where they are. We'll have an advantage that no human could ever hope to counter. The ability to move across half of Thetis in a heartbeat. Oh, Briala knows? Yeah, is this Briala's weapon then? How come we never talked about it at the ball? Briala's weapon. That's right. That was it for magic. History. Let's pick a random one at the bottom or something. Here lies the abyss, the well of all souls. 
From these emerald waters doth life begin anew. Come to me, child, and I shall embrace you. In my arms lie eternity. Canticle of Andraste Chantry sisters have long debated this section of the Chant of Light. It is tempting to assume that the Well of All Souls is a literal well, but such imagery appears nowhere in Andraste's other works. An examination of Threnody's 1-4 yields clues. From the waters of the Fade you made the world. As the Fade had been fluid, so was the world fixed. It is possible, even likely, that the emerald waters Andraste refers to are the substance of the Fade, which began as an ocean of dreams, Threnody's 1-1, and was reduced to a well, bottomless but limited in scope, by the Maker's creation of our world. Is Andraste urging the listener to come to the Fade? Should we take from these emerald waters doth life begin anew as literal evidence of reincarnation, or even of life after death, as the cult of spirits suggests, or as a figurative benediction indicating that the Maker is the source of all life, and in finding his embrace for eternity, we will only be returning our souls from whence they came? A single four-line verse is causing a debate, because we don't know what it means. We're all just trying to understand to the best of our abilities what these things mean, but no one really knows. Wicked eyes and wicked hearts. Oh, these are all chantry verses. The old gods will call to you. From their ancient prisons they will sing. Dragons with wicked eyes and wicked hearts. On blackened wings does the seat take flight. The first of my children lost tonight. Canticle of Silence. The dissonant Canticle of Silence is an alternate creation story to the versions in the Canticle of Threnodes. Much of the Canticle is written from the point of view of the Maker himself as he addresses humankind, which is why it was ultimately considered a blasphemous presumption and removed from the verses of the chant. Popularly attributed to Ark and Hesarian, Silence depicts the Maker as more sorrowful at the corruption and betrayal of his children, both spirit and mortal. He mourns the fall and corruption of the old gods as his own mistake and urges his mortal children to turn aside from the dark path their elder siblings have led them down. Most historians agree that Arkan Hesarian had indeed likely written this canticle during the Bloody Devinter Transfiguration. Literary scholars of the Imperium often cite this as one of the oldest recorded pieces of propaganda. In the sixth verse, the grieving maker calls upon his mortal children to acknowledge that the dragon gods have manipulated and deceived them, and to throw off their corruptive influence and return to the light. As the people of Devinter rose up and slaughtered anyone remaining faithful to their old gods, this became the rallying cry of the most terrible bloodbath in the history of the Imperium. Wasn't even written by the Maker. Were the verses ever written by the Maker? Who is the official writer of these? I'm not even sure. Someone wrote down what the Maker said. Is that what the Bible is too? I don't know. In your heart shall burn. Then the Maker said, To you, my secondborn, I grant this gift. In your heart shall burn an unquenchable flame, all-consuming and never satisfied. From the fate I crafted you, and to the fate you shall return, each night in dreams, that you may always remember me. Canticle of Threnodes In passages 1 through 6, his first children wanted for nothing. Freed from need, they could only praise, but it was hollow without cost. We, and all the physical, were created immutable, that our works would require struggle. A wonder created of wood and stone proves more intent than any wish of the fade. Here in the gentlest verses of the chant, we see how great his gift and how stern his punishment. To inspire, he gave us dreams, such that we would strive to make this limited world reflect his glory. Some look upon that nightly memory and feel only desire, as though owed his splendor. We, the second children, were meant to master the wants and wanes of emotion and childish pursuits, to honor at a distance and move ever forward. We failed in this, and the weakest of us did act as petulant infants, clawing back into his sight. Because we could not master our desire, because we acted on pitiful instinct, because we dared look upon our Maker to fulfill our need and not His, He is lost to us. But He is merciful while stern, and we remember what we have lost. His second children can learn, grow, and change. If we cannot, then we are no better, and no worse, than His first children. Has the Maker abandoned all the first children for good, forever? Well, He's basically abandoned us as well. Will He ever come back? We don't know. All right, good. Something you need? Nope. I should go. Try not to die. I would notice you were gone. Oh, thanks for noticing. That's Fancy meeting sweet. You here. Mm -hmm. I should go. You know where I'll be. I'm just trying to get out of here. Thanks. Okay. We did a thingy for Solus. We did a thingy for Liliana. Anything that's also easy-ish. We only need one more thing for Blackwall's 
memories of the gray, western approach again, exalted plains, snowy wyvern, before the dawn, raid Sarnia quarry. Okay, let's go back to Ompris Duleon then. Maybe we can get this done for Cullen. That would be good. Ompris Duleon. Yeah. Right, should we start off here? I mean, I guess so. But starting off here, maybe we can go down like that as well. And these are just shards, that's whatever. I'll go here and check it out. If we can't go down, then I'll maybe start from here. Something has to be linked somewhere. Care to play another game of cards when we get back to Skyhold, Varric? Not if it's with your crazy Tevinter rules. Now, now, nobody ever died from those. Lately. <laughs> Lately. I'm still trying to find a way forward here. It looks like we can go down a little bit. Like I went through this camp, didn't find anywhere, didn't find anywhere from the keep. But if we keep looking around, I think we'll find something. There was something to claim here. Judicale's Crossing. The Grand Bridge named Judicale's Crossing was constructed in 856 Blessed to celebrate the coronation of Emperor Judicale I as a testament to the skill of Orlais's greatest engineers. The bridge replaced an ancient fallen highway leading to the pools of the sun. At the bridge's ceremonial dedication, the Emperor's sister, Grand Duchess Leotine, led a dozen nobles and their entourages in a stroll across the bridge to the hot springs, where they took to the waters. Judicale's crossing's structural supports bear architectural and decorative elements that mimic those of the ancient Tevinder Highway it replaced. One can see their likes several miles away in the archways rising above the village of Sarnia. The Andrastian statues that decorate the walkway, however, are entirely Orlesian in style. Wasn't this broken? Didn't we have to examine this or something like that? I think that was one of the other quests. No, 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 no. Varric, yes. Varric, you can... Tricks of the trade. Help the team make the most of its abilities, increasing damage and duration of all status effects. Anyone in the party applies. Passive. Crazy passive, too. Fight for a longer time before leaping back. Sure. And, oh my gosh. Forget about the traps. Forget about the traps. It's fine for now. I'm pretty sure we did- didn't we have to look at this bridge? Wasn't that one of the quests? Okay, at the very minimum, we can just cross it. Which is- oh no, we can't. Ah. We can fix it. That's a lot of bridge to destroy. We might be able to rebuild this. Back at the war table, I suppose. Okay, so we can cross later. Hmm, the fisherman thing. But to get down over here... Keep looking. We're here. Villagers freed. We're right outside. Wait, are you inside this... They might be inside the tower, but we have to get inside this area first, right? Hold up, we'll figure it out. How do we get inside? Here's the quarry! It's right here! Okay. Gotta be in the right place then. Let's go, guys! Get them all. Oh, they're level 18! No, 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 don't come to me, don't come to me. I'll hit you with the sword. Get out of here. No. Here we are. But the thing, there's a pulsing here. Is it here or is it somewhere else? Oh, guys. Okay, you guys deal with that for now. Let me, let me see if this is... Around here. Yeah, I think it's inside. We just happen to be able to sense it, that's all. Well, let's go then. You got everybody? Cages, people? Let us out! Oh! Varric! 
Good thing I brought Varric today. The Red Templar lieutenants are in the quarry. This won't stop until they're dead. That was one out of seven. So we still have seven. We have six more carts. There's people down there. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's wrap around this way first since we know there's something there. Maybe they're in inside the tower. Another thing to unlock? No? Here's a bottle. Legacy White Shear, peculiar and rare. A single run of the spirit took color in what has been optimistically called flavor from lyrium in the cask's bilge hoop. A sipping whiskey if you value your innards. Work orders. The boys at Zuladen need several barrels for those things they're working on. Also prepare a batch for the Storm Coast. Fournier. I don't think you'll be doing any of that anymore. Don't you worry. So again, there's a locked door symbol right here, but the door wasn't even locked. I don't know if that's... Is that a thing? Because I definitely don't see anything locked here. I opened this door by myself. Okay. No villagers inside. They've got to be around here. Oh. They keep going this way. Hmm? No dead people? Del, it's over. It's done. I got him. I'm going back to my old camp to pick up the letter I left for you. And then I'm leaving this horrible place. I don't have to skulk around anymore, hiding behind trees and erasing my tracks. I'm free and I'm coming home. This is a lady being stalked by her ex. But in the first letter, the first le she said she was gonna get the first letter, but we found it. So she never made it back there. So maybe something bad happened to her. Hmm. What does the Kunari priesthood tell your people about losing the war? Uh, the usual. Water comes, water goes, but eventually the tides wear away the mountain, blah, blah, blah. They've been fighting Tevinter for centuries and still haven't won. Wait, you think we've been at war all this time? It's barely an eye-watering slap fight, I'll grant you, but every now and again it heats up. <laughs> That's just force of habit. A real invasion's different. What are they waiting for? Don't know. Someone to tell someone to tell someone it's on again, I guess. Just like how the arrow shock back at Kirkwall was waiting forever there. Oh yeah, there's definitely people downstairs. Hold up. What about over here? Does this lead us down? Or is it just leading me around the place? Where the heck? Okay? Um, I think we're leaving. We can probably just go straight down here. Just jump down! Don't think too much. Wow, they knew I was here before I knew I was here. Where are you guys? I'm just claiming this randomly now. Sarnia Quarry. I took a quick tour around the quarry in Sarnia, framed for its azure granite. The owner of the mine, Albin Poulin, proudly informed me that 500 blocks of stone from that very quarry were used to tile the bathing chambers of Lady Mention's summer estate. This is where they get the rocks. Okay, here you guys are. You guys were so far away, I didn't even know where you were. Oh, there's workers here. He's just, the workers just there. Okay. Wait, are they fighting each other? Why is that person? Varric. Be careful. Oh, I'm getting hurt too. I'm getting hurt. Ah! 
Come down and get him. All the workers still working peacefully. Damn. What is this late stage capitalism? You have to help us. They'll turn us into those things. Some of you are inside. Some of you are working. Oh. You ready? No, we're not ready yet. There we go. Oh, oh, rogue, of course. Have you looked everywhere? They took so many of us. Cole doesn't like these villagers as much as the previous batch. He didn't approve as much. <laughs> Guys, it's not safe to just walk around yet. You should probably hide somewhere. Night Enchanter. Uh, let's get a few more passives. Fade Shield. You draw back the energy released by your enemies and your attacks against them. Any successful attack strengthens your barrier. Huh. The more damage you do, the more powerful your barrier grows. Okay. Barrier provides additional health bar. Okay, okay. Let's try it out. Night Protector. Reposed. Disruption Field. It'll be fancy once we get to the end. Now that's another card, but not... Oh. Something here. Or do you want me to go down first? Because this looks pretty... The song... Do we have wardens here? What's going on? Written confession. I will not survive this. I saw what the Red Templars did to the others. The Red Crystals. They get in your flesh and they change you. You lose yourself, then you die. That is to be my fate. I pray Lynette does not mourn for me long. I don't deserve her love. The world must know what I've done. I won't go to the grave carrying this weight. I killed Lynette's brother, Garden. He told her he was going to fight for the Empress, but he never intended to do so. He was going to run away to Ferelden. I caught him one night, looking in our bureau for Lynette's jewels. He meant to take them and leave forever. I tried to stop him, but he fought back and I killed him. I never meant to. It was an accident. Make her forgive me. Andraste grant me her strength. Louis. Louis is Lynette's boyfriend? Husband? Seems likely. That's kind of morbid. He killed his brother-in-law then. Guys, could you please kindly release the villagers? I want to go in. Oh, they're getting pummeled by us. They're doing pretty good. We good? Seems so, and there is yet another cart. Oh, I don't think we're done just yet. But we will be. Guys, yell! Yell after we're done fighting the people. So in your books, the stuff with the spies is all wrong. If only I'd had you around to consult. That. Ah. Times, you pass information on a dead drop. No meetings at all. Ah, where's the drama in that? Oh, can't you mess up the realism of something else? Like lyrium smuggling. <laughs> He's probably talking about how realistic Varric's books are, right? If things were realistic, it wouldn't be fun. That's why it's fiction. It's escapism. Alright, I think we got another reinforced... Battle Mage Mail. Same as mine. Same color. Okay, then... You can just probably... Move that one away. Now what's what's around here? And how many carts was that? That was like the third? Third cart? Oh, the letter for Cullen. To Besson. Maddox needs twice the usual red lyrium to modify my armor properly. Taking over as the vessel means it has to be perfect. Have the amount ready in three days, and you and your squad will get a chance to serve as Corypheus' honor guard. 
my own proving goes on. When I first donned the armor, I thought I was drowning in fire. Without Corypheus to stop me, I'd have torn off my own skin. Now the armor's settled, I can march for days without rest, break a man like Kindling. I'm finally fit to be the vessel. Maddox may come to you to work on my armor's modifications. If he gives you instructions about Delirium, follow them to the letter. Treat Maddox like you treat me, Samson. We should inform Cullen that we've taken care of Samson's Red Lyrium horde. Our dear commander might crack a smile for once. Samson himself is Red Lyrium infused? Is his mind still even sound? We don't know about that. The quarry is quite big. I get the impression if we went the other way, do we want to keep going this way or do we want to go back? Because earlier there was a section we didn't finish looking at yet. I want to look at the higher up places first because if we're higher up, we can drop down. But once we drop down, it's much harder to go back down. See, there's something right here. Oh, it's another part. I see the letter already. To Paxley. I've seen the transformations. It's a horror to watch your soldiers face change. To realize they might not remember you day to day. It's a sword in the guts. But the ones who make it through are near invincible. Feed Elfrude to the soldiers hurting as much as they want. Beyond that, it's just waiting until they stop feeling pain. Remind them they spread delirium. It grows at our touch. With the materials I've sent, they'll grow enough for a dozen armies. It's proof we're on the right path, that any suffering is worthwhile. Remind them. Samson. A note from Samson about spreading red lyrium. Samson back in 2, the little bit that we saw of him, he was just like some random lyrium oh, addict, really. No but now he's like a full-fledged leader and all that. Whoa, why is he like floating up and stuff? Get him right here. These are level 19. I feel like we're a little bit more stable with this lineup, huh? Cole was really easy. He was like a super glass cannon, except without the cannon part. <laughs> Varric knows how to stay away a little bit more. <laughs> the worker's just right here. Not even doing anything. Oh, it's blocking. Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, he hit himself there. Varric's got a skill that does some sort of, um... Is that some mind thing? Are all the cages open? No. We're working on it. That was four out of seven. We have red lyrium here all... It's not a big problem. Not the biggest of problems. The workers, on the other hand... I mean, if we can get the red lyrium here, that would be good. Just to get that little marker off out of my face. We got the letter here. Oh, is that all the letters? That's all we needed? I would have thought we would have needed three. No. Yes. Goodbye. Varric happens to be here too. He doesn't care this time. No longer. For the purposes of the Cullen thing, this is done. Okay, so we refocus back on what's actually going on here then. Rocky Rescue, Villagers, Rid the Quarry of Red Templars. These are these are the same thing, pretty much. We keep going. Is the Kiln some kind of big secret? How come no Kunari I've met will explain it even slightly? It's not a secret. It's just too big for a quick chat. Tell me about the Kuhn is like saying tell me about economics. Most Kunari know just enough to get by. It's like blind dwarves trying to figure out a dragon by touch. Only the priests really have the whole picture, and they spend their whole lives figuring that crap out. Well, I'll leave them to it then. Oh, so the normal, the average Kunari is like, I don't even get it, but I'll, I'll just do whatever the priests tell me. That's pretty much it. Alright, guys. 
Stay in your cage. No, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Villagers, be quiet. I'm trying to save you right now, but you need to chill out. And just stay quiet. A garden, a crystal garden in my skull. Did you get him? It's right here. Where's my mouse? I don't even know where my... Here we go. Break the locks, please. Yes, we will. Are all the cages open? You just focus on getting away. I'll, I'll get the rest of them, all right? Don't you worry. Something here as well. Wow. <laughs> They're just working like it's nobody's business. Is this another bottle? Klimt. Lieutenant Coat isn't feeling well, so I must rely on you to handle the lady from the village. Set aside some basic supplies. Flour, dried peas, blanket, any coin you can spare. Either bring them or have them brought to the groves of trees at the Fork of the Elves' Blood, two nights from now. Make sure no one sees you. Mistress Poolin should be there. She'll give you a list. People we can use in exchange for the goods. Bring the list to me. Oh, and lean on her a bit. Coat's got a soft heart and lets her get away with things. Her lists have been getting shorter, and she recommends folks who are old or have some hidden ailment. We take them, but they don't survive the seating. Useless. Tell her she comes up with something good, or we take everyone. Night Captain Fournier. Because that person, that lieutenant actually has a conscience. They're kidnapping people. The Templars are kidnapping people here, basically. So, you're Ben Hazrath, huh? The spies of the Kunari. Oh, you've heard of us. I spent some time in Kirkwall. That must have been fun. You could say that. The Kunari we met there were... Break the locks, please! Yes, yes. Yeah, we met a few Kunari back in Kirkwall. You could say that. Have you looked everywhere? They took so many of us. There's something here as well. Could you please stop blocking the ladder? The Inquisition needs it. Another letter for Colin? Kote, we need more villagers. We've gone through the miners already, weaklings. Get the rest from the most recent list. I don't care if the village is running out. No one will miss them. There's more? Yeah, that lady was tasked with finding the villagers and kidnapping them. To have red lyrium infused into them, I guess. But even she was starting to feel bad about it. Letter of confirmation. To confirm, yes, I've seen the reports. The Inquisition is on the rise, but there'll be a toothless hound once our master deals with them. We stand between the enemy and Corypheus. He gave us what the chant we would never. A second chance. I don't want to see a single man let him down. So delirium. Let it follow where we walk, take root where we settle. Never forget that your footsteps, yours, mark Corypheus' path to victory. I found a letter from Samson himself. It seemed like we didn't need all three, just one or two. Wow, unguarded. You have to help oh. us. They'll turn us into those things. Inquisitor, please. You don't seem well. What's wrong? The red crystals. I can feel them. At the tips of my fingers beneath my nails, under my eyelids. I know what happens. I, I have a letter for my love. Would you place it? In the hollow of the marked tree by the river. When he returns from the war, he'll know to look there. Let him hate me and move on. She's dead. You could have at least helped the villagers before you died, because I'm guessing you were lying here for quite a while. And you guys 
just watched her die. Yeah, Couldn't do anything help. about it. <laughs> they don't care at all, actually. <laughs> There's a lot of this type of um, fetch quest. Oh, uh, please spread my dead spouse's ashes. Please send a letter. We can all go home now. Judge the prisoner? What prisoner? We have prisoners? Okay, so that was the last villager. We good for here then? Yeah, that was the place where I didn't think there was actually a locked door. It just says there is, but there isn't. Oh, uh, yes. Now we can go back to... Yeah, okay, we can do these things too. These were right near the beginning. Mm. We can tell Mistress Poolin about how we save the workers. And we can give the confession about how Louise killed his wife's brother and all. Inquisitor, if you have a moment. There's a lot of people at camp these days. It's a whole party. Mistress. Creator, see me kneel, for I walk only where you would bid me. Down. Oh! Did she? You lied. You knew what the Red Templars were doing, but you took their gold and stayed silent. Yes, I took their gold. Gold and any supplies they would give, all so we could live. There are many orphans in Sarnia, who protected them when their parents were lost. We couldn't run, not with the river frozen and the demons. If I had said anything, they would have killed me too. So I let them take people, and prayed that one day, someone like you would come destroy them. All we could do was survive till that day. Now it's come, hasn't it? I was right. But that might have never happened. It's kind of like the whole thing with the mayor back in Crestwood. I, I did see the letter with her name on it, her family name, but I thought it was like her dad or something, or actually, I don't know her first name. People were taken, infected with red lyrium because of your actions. What else could I do? Take up the old pitchfork to fight? Those who died would have died regardless. This way at least some survived. She's not wrong, but it doesn't feel good. It's exactly like the whole flooding thing back in Crestwood. What else do you want? You should be grateful. Don't give me lip. Oh, Lynette. He was alive. All this time he was alive. I didn't even dare hope. Mm, let me read the note again. Should we give it to the wife or should we give it back to Louis? Caged confession. After Louis was captured by the Red Templars, he wrote a note confessing the murder. Should we give it to the wife? Or give it back to him? He wrote it, thinking he was gonna die. Oh, I gotta give it to the wife. But they're gonna break up and stuff. He's walking away from me. Oh... What does he want? What do you want? I saw what those Templars did to the others. If you hadn't freed us, I might have been next. I found your confession. You killed Lynette's brother. No. It was an accident. He was going to take everything. You mustn't tell Lynette. Let her believe the war killed Gart. Now you... <laughs> but you wrote it because you wanted to tell her because you were going to die. Gard was her brother. She deserves to know the truth. I was going to die. Now we have a chance to start over. Please, I beg you. It's not starting over if it's based on a lie. You will be in my thoughts and prayers. She switched benches. Oh, this is painful. Louis wrote this confession. He killed your brother. No, that can't be. God is fighting in the war. He enlisted with the Empress's army. I'd like to be alone. Please leave. I'd like to be alone. Okay. Please leave. Mistress Poulain is the reason we're still alive. Mmm, sort of. Why did you have to tell her? We could have been happy. Why did you kill her brother? 
Oh, you were ready to build your life off that lie. It wasn't gonna last. It was gonna come out sooner or later. Place the woman's letter in the hollow of a marked tree by the river. We will. If we freeze to death and get eaten by wolves, I'm blaming the Seeker. She's not even here. There you go. Hollow of a tree. There is a landmark here, but uh, the last time we were here, I didn't even see where to claim it. Is it right here? Where do we claim it? Around? <laughs> Not in this little cubby hole. Oh. Crystal Cascade frozen. When the sun shines upon the waters of the cascade falling from their great height, they seem for all the world like a cascade of crystals pouring out of an unseen hand. Brother Genitivi who bathed in the pool beneath the crystal cascade in his travels. That must have been a while ago. Now it's all frozen. All right, all right. How's Ompri's Dulian looking then? We got rifts, which I'm categorically ignoring. Yeah, there's a few. Sifting through rubble. This one we can't do because we haven't... We haven't rebuilt the bridge yet. Yeah, so I guess for now we're... We've actually cleared out a good bit of it. This place, even though you can see that there's more going on in other places. Okay. Back. Let's go back. Talk to Cullen. 